Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today's topic is, Brain Computer Interface. So let's start with introduction. What is Brain Computer Interface? Basically, a brain, computer interface is a system, that measures activity of the central nervous system, and converts it into artificial output. That replaces, restores, enhances, supplements, or improves natural central nervous system outputs. Brain-computer interface improve many functions of human, including, replace lust functions, such as speaking or moving. They also may restore the ability to control the body, such as by stimulating nerves or muscles that move the hand. They have also been used to improve and enhance many functions. Brain-computer interface utilize many techniques for measuring the brain activity, such as, electroencephalography, e.g., functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI, magnetoencephalography, MEG, intracortical neuron recording electrocorticography, ECOG, near-infrared spectroscopy, NIRS, positron emission tomography, PET. Basic Block Diagram of Brain-Computer Interface This is the basic block diagram for brain-computer interface, which consists of three major components, such as, signal or data acquisition, signal processing unit and output device. These components control the overall activity of the devices. Working of Brain-Computer Interface Based on the block diagram, we saw that different components are control the activity of the system. Each system have different functions. For example, signal acquisition unit. Signal acquisition in a brain-computer interface, helps in the measurement of brain signals using a sensor modality. The sensor is basically a device implanted in the brain usually multi-electrode arrays that records the signals directly related to the movement. The signals can be amplified to levels suitable for electronic processing. And then filtered with suitable filters and the filtered signals can be digitized and transmitted to a computer. Next is, feature extraction. Which analyze the digital signals, and translate into output commands. And then, resulting signal features are passed to the feature translation algorithm, for the output device. Based on the commands, output device, brain-computer interface, providing functions. And also, the device operation then provides feedback to the user. Types of brain-computer interface There are three main types based on the intercept, the electrical signals that pass between neurons in the brain and translate them to a signal sensible by external device. Such as, Invasive Brain Computer Interface Partially Invasive Brain Computer Interface and Non-Invasive Brain Computer Interface In invasive types, generally use electrodes, that are implanted directly into the gray matter of the brain during neurosurgery. So it can produce the highest quality signals. In the non-invasive technique, Medical scanning devices or sensors are mounted on caps or headbands and they help to read the brain signals. In partially invasive type, use electrodes that are mainly implanted in the skull and exterior to the brain. Applications of Brain-Computer Interface Some of the Brain-Computer Interface products are, BrainGate Implant Neural Impulse Actuator Bionic Eye Deep Brain Stimulator electronic pill and powered exoskeleton thank you for watching this video if you like this tutorial please share with your friends and family thank you